I tried to tell people in one of my early videos, and um, if you look at my early videos, I've put out a lot of information no other channel has put out, especially during the time that I put it out in July, August. Um, I've said that uh, the real reason Charlo picked the Canelo fight um, with Terrence Crawford, with him looking at Terrence Crawford ringside, I said that during the fight, and I also have told people that Canelo is going to clean out PBC any way possible that he can. Because at this point, um, the talent over there, they've, all, they've already lost a lot of undisputed belts. That's what people don't have to realize. Um, in a way, fight with Stephen Fulton, that was undisputed. When un yeah, that was uh, unified, undisputed, whatever it was. But they've lost belts over there. Then you have... Spence and Crawford, they've lost belts. Uh, I mean, Spence Crawford fight. Then Spence lost his belts. Now you have with Charlo, he's going to end up losing his belts to Tim Zhu, and he risked all that going up to fight Canelo. Then he lost value fighting Canelo and fighting the way he did. Now, if you would have went in there and fought tooth and nail with Canelo, people would still be trying to watch him. But to go in there and see him lay down, ain't nobody trying to pay for that no more. And people real. And then when I bring up the fact that. Oh, so and so has a fought a pay per view. People say, "Oh, well, what? What does a pay per view mean?" That's what a pay per view means. Charlo got all them fights, and he never looked like that because that's what a pay per view means. When you get under them bright lights, you might not be the same guy. We're gonna really find out who you is when you get under the bright lights. It's different. That's why people say it's different when you in there. That's why Canelo was saying he ain't never been to the level. It's different. He ain't been in there with nobody like me. He gonna see my skills. When I heard all that, then I heard the feet shuffling and all this other stuff. I said, yeah, I'm going to go with Canelo on this. Possible stoppage. It was possible, but I wasn't going for the stoppage. I think it was going to go 12 rounds, but Canelo victory all the way. So when you see Canelo clearing out a lot of these divisions and things like that, now you hear guys getting quiet because – They've been having Canelo fight the wrong guys the whole time. Oh, I want to see another Triple G fight. Oh, I want to see another Triple G fight. Let me see a third one. Then he gets booed in the third fight. Then he gets booed in the Bibble fight by his great fans that just boo him for one one loss. I'm going to boo you. You done fought all these other guys, Kovalev and everybody else, but I'm going to boo you in this fight. So if you're a Canelo fan who's booed him before, uh, please don't support me. I don't want, I don't want none of that because... To love a guy so much, you got to boo him after one loss. I don't want to. No, nah, I don't want that around. But what I will say is, Canelo's clearing out PBC, man. I mean, they still gonna have talent, and they're gonna have more talent come around. But it's not as good as it could have been. With uh, Charlo probably pay, uh, facing Tim Zhu and getting a win, that would look better right now. And for Canelo to possibly have faced Benavidez, but for you to jump in Benavidez way and give Canelo a reason not to fight him so you can go in there and get a check. Oh, man. That is the worst thing ever. And I've told people, Canelo is Thanos right now. He's getting all the Infinity Stones. He's going for all the divisions that he can, that he will be able to reach. He's going to try 175 again. He's just weird like that. He's going to do it. He's, he's going to do that. He's not going to sit up there and let that loss just linger like that. He's going to try to... uh. Uh, get him with an iron shot, but uh, I feel like with this Canelo thing going on with PBC, he got two more fights, and we don't know who his opponent is. The Carlos Adamas thing, I would say that actually sounds about right. Let me tell you why. I don't know if they want to feed Jamal Charlo to him, and then Jamal Charlo has a fight with uh, Jose Benavidez, which I will do a review on that. But uh, I don't feel like they want to um, put him out there as that risk right now because it'll be even worse because now you'll have two of those guys that just ruin their brand together. Um, Then you're going to have basically your top talent. That top talent is basically going to improve it mode right now. I don't know why. Like, I'm going to be fair about it. I think the only reason why people hold Spence accountable like they is, like he didn't do something because he was talking and promoting himself so much, but that's what you got to do when you're in the fight game. You got to promote yourself. 
the fight wouldn't have been as big if he wasn't a promoter than like that. You can ask me, Terry Crawford, anybody like that. The extra stuff Spence put on it with the shirts and he he made the fight big big uh bigger. Probably uh made it linger a little too long. The fight was lingered a little too long. It was a little overdue, I ain't gonna lie. It was a little overdue. It was like ten months, twelve months overdue. But um should he still made the fight? I can get man, look, as much as I be saying about Spence. It was a money move at the end of the day. Of course, it was a money move. But as much as I got to say at the end of the day, he still gave him an opportunity because, like Spence said, a lot of people didn't want the fight to go down. That's all I can say. Listen to what Spence said. Andre, they said this. Canelo ain't said this. They said a lot of people didn't want the Spence and Crawford fight to happen. And it wasn't Crawford. So, and Spence is saying this. So, I know he ain't talking about himself. So people have to realize Canelo is going to clear that place out. I've already seen in my mind. In my mind, I've seen them clearing clearing PBC out and then going back to uh going back to uh the zone. Clearing them out and going back to the zone. If you, people see with the moves that's going on, the Showtime move and PBC, that's just that's just that's just the sprinkles on it. That's not even the surface of what we're going to get to as far as with the boxing. A lot of this boxing is in America. It's, it's going to go back to uh, the early 2000s. It's going to look like those uh, Klitschko days. When we had uh, K-9 Bundress and those guys going around fighting. It's not going to look like how, it, how it's been looking recently. Because you got to have a platform. And right now the platform are gravitating towards what other people are doing. Like Fury and all these other guys. Canelo is destroying what other people are building right now. And they're letting them do it without even giving themselves a chance. Because you're giving him all the ammunition and then he's fighting at a higher weight class. And I'm glad he's doing it because he's exposing everything. Canelo and Tim Zhu are exposing all these fighters that sitting up here saying the guys are ducking them. Crawford has X'd out a guy that says Ducky. Charlo has X'd out a guy. I mean, uh, Canelo has X'd out a guy that says Ducky. Tim Zhu trying to double X that. So all the guys are saying, oh, yeah, they ducking me. They ducking me. Yeah, okay. Canelo ducking you? Yeah, Canelo probably ducking some other guys, which which is strategic. You're not going to hear it. Most people deny that. But they don't usually say Canelo ain't ducking the guy. They'll say, but what has he done to deserve a fight? So most of these fans who he, they don't even believe that uh he's not ducking nobody. They believe it themselves. Why would he fight someone who hasn't fought anybody? He's ducking Charlo. See now, you got Canelo and his fans repeating what Jamel Charlo said. If you think Jamel Charlo is such a soft fighter and he's this and this, he talk a good game and he's cap, and you think he's a liar, you think he's a liar. If you think he's a liar. Why are you repeating his words about what Demetrius Andre and all this stuff about ducking? So you, you're you going to bash Charlo, but then you're going to say somebody was ducking him? Okay. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. Make it. Because with Canelo doing what he's doing right now, the only two guys that will be able to even try to stop him is the guys who aren't trying to jump two, three weight classes to fight him. They're trying to fight him at his weight class, at the weight class that they're at now. But we're not going to let that happen, though. You got these promoters out here saying, oh, Andre, he's a dangerous fight now. He's a dangerous fight now. He's been a dangerous fight. He's 35 years old. So he didn't get dangerous until he was 35? He didn't get reached his full potential until 35? Fighting nobodies? Y'all say he's been fighting nobodies. So he's been fighting tomato cans, and now he's 50-50 with Benavidez? Canelo, explain. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I understand you clearing out the, uh, which somebody has to do it. I mean, at the end of the day, whether it was you or Crawford or anybody, Benavidez, somebody has to do it. I mean, these guys don't want to fight each other. Use your, uh, your, uh, your bidding power to destroy these guys. I mean, they're not, they're destroying other people without even fighting them, calling guys ducks and all these lies and narratives. Now they build themselves up and they finna retire and eat good. 
But Canelo's walking through everything. Look at my early videos. I have a uh, Canelo Infinity Stone video that predicted all this stuff. And I have uh, the real reason Charlo uh, took the uh, Canelo fight. This is what started all of it because I got tired of it. I, mean, I was looking at the Crawford fight. Man, I couldn't even concentrate, man. I'm just like, Psh, all these fake guys around here acting like Crawford. They didn't know Crawford was like that. I've seen guys go to De Deontay Wilder's fights way before he even fought Wilder. One of the guys was Charlo. Standing up ringside, screaming, ah, Deontay, get up. And then when Deontay said, man, you know what I'm saying, so and so, I ain't feel like this. Then you see Charlie, oh, try to jump on him. But you don't hear nobody try to jump on him. But I will because I'm not finna let this fly. No, I'm not finna let this guy fly. He's talked down on too many American boxers. Why? boxers in America got to talk down on their own. But when you go to Europe, some of these guys are from Turkey and Ukraine, not even from the same country, and they respect each other a lot more. Then you got these these little children boxers around here that's sitting around here talking about some, oh, this guy's a duck and he's ducking me. Bro, ain't nobody duck Mike Tyson. If you ain't Mike Tyson or if Aaron, nobody considers you to be even close to Mike Tyson, please don't say that. Nobody's ducking you. To be real, we gave Charlo credit at the fight in Leuven when Leuven was young. But these other guys, when Leuven beat them, we don't give him credit, though. Canelo's exposing all this crap. People talking about, oh, why Canelo's going back to 168? He, want, he need to fight me. He need to fight Charlo. <sighs> man, I'm so glad I got away from that crap when them dudes was talking, man. I knew it was a just a terrible situation altogether, but Canelo cleaning this up is going to do wonders for boxing. I'm just going to be real. I'm just going to be real. It's going to be, it's going to do wonders for boxing because now that ducking word is starting to get used less and less. Even though I still hear uh, minions repeating it, it's still getting used less and less because now people realize, oh, the guy who said that, he's at home right now. Basically on retirement mode. Oh, the guy I'm talking about who said so and so is ducking, he's just got a payday. When his next fight is, I don't know exactly. You know why? Because the guy who's sitting around crying wolf, he's the one who's actually been ducking. See, when guys don't want to admit it these days in boxing, a lot of these guys, they're just trying to cash out, get in, and get out. That's why you. I'm going to say another thing, too. And there's no disrespect to anybody, but a lot of these. Boxers that try to group up with other boxers, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. It's a thing I, I notice, like when guys are in defense mode or they need some kind of boosting or confidence, they try to get in groups like a little gang. But these guys run around in groups. If you one of my one of the boxers that I look at and support, think that you're a top talent, and you run around in groups, co-signing the next guy because that's your homeboy. I'm going to start looking at you crazy. I'm going to start looking at you like how uh, I was looking at Charlo them. It's fence them. Like, bro, I understand y'all from Texas and all that, but are y'all going to be realistic or we just going to say, oh, so-and-so the best because he from where I'm from. Man, when we were growing up, when we was with combat sports, we weren't talking about uh, if a guy was on my team and I knew he was going to get smashed, I'm going to say, hey, man, he's going to get smashed. That dude was on my USA team. I know him, and my friend, he ain't prepared like that because of this, this, and this. Or the other guy got more and more experience, or he hasn't dealt with this style or this and that. But to try to dictate how guys just – that's why I said Canelo's cleaning everything. Like everything that Benavidez said he was going to do and Andre, those guys he called out, uh, like Plant and Charlo, Canelo said, I'll just clean those guys up. See, Canelo doesn't want to have to fight a whole division, bro. That's not realistic right now. And then when you got Charlo trying to th throw his hand in the ring, like, hey, I'm at 154, what about me? Just ruining everything, bro. That's why I said, just let this, Canelo, just burn it down, bro. Just burn down everything. I don't care about it no more. Just burn it down. Two more fights, good. Get these guys up out of here and let them go on about their business. Let, let them get their money and we'll get ours.
sitting around saying other American bosses is trash. That's hurting us. We'll probably have more networks if y'all weren't running around trying to devalue guys. Jump in the ring with them. I'm going to say another thing. I don't trust no guy who talk like that no more. If you even sound like uh, what Charlie them is saying, you going to be on my bad list. Seriously. I don't want to hear none of that stuff no more. That ducking and all that. I'm mean, hearing guys in my comments, man. I ain't trying to hear that no more, man. Bro, I'm not going to block anybody most of the time, bro. But if you don't hear saying anything close to like that, bro, I ain't, I'm not going to entertain that. You got in. You got Canelo coming through, getting bigger paydays than guys that's on PBC, clearing out a whole company. This man going around here firing everybody. He the HR. <laughs> I'm going to put that down now. Canelo the HR. He the human resources officer of uh, PBC. And he dictating where your career going right now. You could be fired or you could be hired. Or you could proceed to go on with your career. But you can lose everything messing with him. He's an HR officer right now. They be like, I want a Canelo fight. Well, report the uh, human resources. That's the fight you want. Report the human resources so Canelo can take care of you. He can do your exit interview. Because <laughs> that's all it is. He's giving out exit interviews. Cause this is terrible, man. I like it, though. I like it because now you get to see the guy that raw raw, yeah, Charlo, nobody respect Charlo, put them on pound for pound. And I'm sitting around here riding for Charlo. I'm like, damn, bro, y'all. I'm like, okay, let me uh see. Okay, you got Danny Jacobs. All right, you don't want to fight him. Maybe you're just too young for Jacobs. What about Andre, though? Oh, uh, he has some bad paperwork. Well, all right, let me just, I don't really believe all that because I ain't heard nobody else say nothing like that. And then Virgil Ortiz and had many fights where he's had to start over and postpone the fight three or four times. Nobody said nothing about him uh, ducking and he's bad business. Don't ever do business with him again. It's a lot of lies going on, but it is what it is, though. Sometimes you got to you gotta lie to build something. But once you build it, it will all fall down if it's built on lies. Like and subscribe.